Hey guys, I'm at the range and once again, I got the place to myself, so I figure why not do a little bit of gel testing. I got my 300 wind mag, this is the Savage 110 Stealth Evolution, and I want to do a little comparison today. Midway has had some great deals on factory second Hornady bullets, um, so I got some 225 grain ELDMs and 212 grain eldx so i want to see the comparison you know difference between the match bullets and the hunting bullets i know there is a 220 eldx but these 212s actually have a higher bc which is kind of strange so i decided to pick these up instead i chronographed some of these uh, last week they were going out about 28 15 and the last time i chronographed the 225 eldms they were going just over 26 like 26 15 sure i could push them a little bit faster but i didn't really feel the need to they were shooting sub moa out to a thousand so i just kind of settled with that load gel is down range so we'll see what happens so i'm down here setting up the camera at the gel these targets are at 100 yards so the gel is at about 90 or so these have been shot before the front block is pretty much untouched besides one little wound path that came into here this one has a couple wound paths, but as the backing block, I'm not too worried about it. It's usually the first block that takes the brunt of the damage. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so first shot was with the 225 ELDM. Fortunately, I tried using super slow motion, and a mosquito flying in front of the camera set it off. And that's what I got a video of instead of the gel being shot. But there is the wound path, and the bullet stop right here. Uh, of course, the clear side of the block has so many wound channels, it's hard to see. But there's the bullet. Looks nice and expanded. It's so wrinkly over here, it's hard to tell, but about three inches or so into this block. So it's about 19 inches of penetration, which for a 225 grain bullet really isn't that much. But you can see there's a ton of fragmentation in here. Interestingly enough, you know, this top wound track, it's hard to see, but that was from the 168 MKZ with the 308, and that wound track is, like, almost the same size as this 300 wind mag shot. Opened up maybe an inch, inch or so in. I'll have to do some measurements when I get home, but let's try the uh, 212 ELDX, and this time I'll do regular slow motion to make sure I get it on camera. All right, so let's see how the ELDX did. Fortunately, this is how the block was. The first shot was dead center. Tried to go cut it in the middle. I was a little close, so they're on top of each other a little bit. But the ELDX is this one here. Now it would be on the other side. Opened up a touch sooner. Wound channels kind of look the same, and it's hard to tell since they are so close to each other. see the cardboard discolored the gel a little bit it always seems to happen when you shoot it twice all right well it definitely penetrated a little bit further we're a little bit more than halfway through this block so that's pretty good i'm curious to see the weight retention difference if that's why it penetrated more and it was going a little bit faster so we'll get home take some measurements and cut these out all right, so I got the blocks back home. Do some measurements now. Here is the first block. The wound channels are pretty much on top of each other, so it's hard to tell, but the bottom one is a 225 ELDM. The top one is the 212 ELDX. Over here, they're actually separated, so you can look at them both. They look identical at this point. Tons of fragmentation in there. You can see all the black from the burning of the gel. Only difference, it looks to me, is the neck which it's kind of hard to tell the block got a little cloudy right there for some reason but it's about a two inch neck from the eldm and i don't know maybe an inch from the eldx it figures i have a whole block i end up hitting almost in the same spot now here's the second block 
So 225 ELDM stopped right about four inches with that leading edge. So we're at 20 inches of penetration. And the 212, we are right at just the, right about 10 inches. So 26 inches total penetration. So I'm gonna dig these out, take some measurements, check weight retention. Maybe I'll cut this block in half so you can check out the wound channels from the inside and you might be able to tell the difference a little bit easier than you can just looking like this. All right, so I cut the block. This is the entry side. The one with all the black is the 225. You can see how much more black that 225 got compared to the 212. It's almost hard to see the 212 because it's so light. Don't know if turning up the brightness will really help. Maybe a little bit. So this is about the seven inch mark. And you know, you've got pretty much a two inch wound channel. The 212 is a touch smaller. It makes sense the 212 penetrated further, so it clinged onto the energy a little bit more. But overall pretty close. Alright, so everything is dug out of the gel. 225 here on the left, 212 here on the right. So we'll start here at the 225 ELDM. We got 2,500 feet per second at 100 yards, the 3,100 foot pounds of energy. Now this bullet only retained 46% of its weight. It's 105.7 grains. So that means there's 119 grains of lead in that gel. Which as a hunter, I don't really like to see. And this wasn't like 2,500 feet per second is not a crazy high, you know, impact velocity or anything like that. Um, so if this was to hit bone, not just gel, you know, you might have some different results. All right. So here we got 0.54 this way, 0 0.57, 0.59, 0.53. All right. So, let's go over to the 212 VLDX here. This impacted at 2661, 3,300 foot-pounds of energy, and this retained 63% of its weight at 134.9 grains. This one definitely is a little bit more uniform in the mushrooming. Peeled back pretty nice. If you actually look at these next to the unfired bullets, you can see that the 225, they peel back almost to the boat tail, where this one definitely stayed back a little bit more. So we'll check some expansion. If we count this piece of the jacket sticking way out, we're at 0 0.6, uh, just about, yeah, 0.61. If you want to go just the top, we're at 5, 5.3, 5.3.9, 5.1. Five, four. All right, so the ELDM did get slightly larger expansion just because it's not as uniform, but I mean, barely. It's not really much of a difference. I think it's more the, the jacket sticking out the sides that's making that difference. Um, so let me just zoom in quick here so you can kind of get a better look just how far these bullets are actually going down into your powder capacity. It's one thing I do love about the Savage is you can load long, uh, these 225s I'm loading at at 3.6, and these 212s I'm loading at 3.57 OAL. So you can definitely load long, and they still fit in the magazines. The magazines let you load at the 3. Point, uh, I think it's 8.5. So plenty of room in the chamber, plenty of room in the magazine. So it is definitely nice with the 300 wind mag. You're not eating up your powder capacity. So either way, I do want to do another test with these. Maybe shoot a pork shoulder or something and see what happens when these actually strike bone. I have a feeling the 212, well, the 225, I mean, is going to just fall apart. The 212 probably will do better, but it's still, you know, 63% at just, just shooting at the gelatin isn't that great either. Well, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.